The key to growth as a music producer is improving your catalog. You do this by producing for more established artists. But how do you do this without begging or cold DMing all day? Here's the secret. Relationships. Don't chase placements, chase friendships. Less beat selling, more trust building. Here's one way this has worked out for me lately. So my homie Dizzy8 has this amazing song called Tighten Up and I made the beat. But he didn't get it through random link spams for me on IG. He actually hit me up for a different beat entirely, which he found while watching the YouTube content I make for producers. All that led to him getting this one. And that's the key. Instead of trying to get placements, I'm focused on being valuable within the space which naturally attracts good attention. This is the catalyst for great connections. And when it came time, I didn't charge Dizzy for the beat. Because he's an established artist, there's just way more for us both to gain from a synergistic relationship that doesn't involve upfront payments. Hopefully this encourages you to approach the development of your catalog in a new way. If so, drop a like and share this with a friend so they can learn why. Most producers cannot make a name for themselves simply because it's too difficult to cut through all of the noise. So you've just got to know how to build a brand if you want to get noticed. Learn to make amazing music and then inject your style into it. There is literally no way around this and you've got to do it because you need to make the experience of listening to your music enjoyable for the listener. So here's the one step formula to doing this correctly. Copy the style of your favorite producer. And by copy, I really mean steal. Yes, even if it's from me. I am literally always just doing my best impression of Wonder Girl, Metro Boomin, Southside with a sprinkle of Kanye every time I fire up FL Studio. And I really love this quote from Pablo Picasso, which encapsulates this entire idea. Good artists are going to borrow, great artists steal. So copy the style of your favorite acts and then put your own spin on it. Do something that's gonna make it unique. That's how you're going to make your music good and enjoyable for the people that are going to listen to it and become raving fans of it. Having good beats doesn't automatically mean you're going to get noticed. True, it's a lot harder to grow if your beats are trash. But if it was as simple as just being good, there would be a lot less people complaining about saturation. Once your beats are actually good, which is the most important first step, you've got to find a really good way of getting them in front of people. And no, spamming links on social media and in DMs is not going to work. You'd actually be a lot better off just selling tapes out of the trunk of your car at a fucking gas station. Instead, create content. Attention is gained through the creation of value, and money is made in the exact same way. Content is the arbitrage for the delivery of that value. Essentially, the content facilitates the exchange. Your potential consumer, listener, or purchaser is going to get value, and you're going to get attention or money, and vice versa. 